Good morning, it's time. It's the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Listen, coming up on today's show, we're talking all things fashion. Call your husbands, call your boyfriends, call your sons. You need to learn how to dress like the modern man. And we're having it today with Travis Shula right here. Coffee comes up, pinkies are out. It's time to get lamp. It's the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Good morning. <laughs> here we go. Everybody, everybody get up. Everybody, everybody get up. Come on. Lamp, 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 lamp. When Jeff and Lamp. Motivation, inspiration, educating new oh. revelation. Lamp, 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 lamp. When Jeff and Lamp. Entertainment yeah. just for when you. When Jeff and Lamp. Smile and laugh because God loves get you. Get up and get lamp, 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 lamp. When Jeff and Lamp. Somebody turn the lamp on. All right, listen, we're talking all things entertainment. I'm moving very fast. And now let me tell you right now real quick, you're going to go from laughing to like, what? All in one moment. First of all, let me say thank you to all of the viewers of the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. I didn't realize there were so many people who watched the show. It made me so excited. I'm um, seeing you at Family Fest on last week, and we had a ball out there with um, Grammy Award winner Chai Tribbett. So that was wonderful. So great seeing all the viewers. And of course, on Monday at the Heritage Festival, enjoy being out there in Hopkins, South Carolina, with you all hosting, it was absolutely grand. So thank you so much for that time. Listen, real quick, while we're talking about it, I've got some of the most exciting news. Number one, for sale. Everyone needs to get prepare yourself for sale. Costco is having a big sale on what you might ask, caskets. You can get a casket right now for $6.99. That's right, $6.99. All caskets are on sale for $6.99. Y'all, I'm not joking. I was in Costco the other day and I was actually taking a walk through the aisles. And as I was in Costco, I see that they had caskets on sale. Um, and the one that's on sale right now is called A Little Piece of Heaven. So you, for $699, can have a little piece of heaven. So listen, when y'all talk about y'all going thrifting, y'all going to the thrift store, things of that nature, no need to do that. Go to Costco and feel inside the cushion and the casket and decide what you want to do. A little piece of heaven. <laughs> All right. But a story that really did make me upset, just really rattled my nerves. Over in China, did you hear the story about the mother who flushed her baby down the toilet? That's right, so according to the reports that have been released, there was a mother who had a baby and she flushed the baby down the toilet. Now the initial report was saying that she, that the neighbors actually called 911 when they heard the baby's faint cries in the plumbing, in the sewage, they heard the baby's faint cries. Um, now the story that's coming after that, now Chinese officials are saying that no, in actuality, the mother called and she accidentally flushed the baby down the toilet. How do you accidentally flush a baby? I don't know. I do want you to know that the baby is well. And I think this was in response after so many things were coming out and people were saying, this shouldn't be happening. What's going on and all around the world? People were sending over love to this little lamb that was caught and then sewage, they, like the sewage and the water and everything, they had to cut it out the pipe, cut the baby out the pipe. It's just not right. You know, I, it, it bothered me because there are so many people out there who want a child. And for you to do this, to do this act, it's just, that is just, what is the world coming to? We need to do better. All right, that's all I have time for in entertainment. Listen, stick it right here. We're doing all things fashion this morning. Coffee cups up, your pinkies are out. You're getting lamb. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Jeff and lamb <laughs> Go see Dr. Terrence Tindall at Jerome and Company. Don't worry, ladies. They carry women's clothing too, so you can look your best every day. For beautiful casual and dress attire for men and ladies, go to the Columbia Style Leader, Jerome and Company. Good morning, and we're here on the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Listen, put your coffee cups down right now. I know that you're getting dressed for church, but I need, listen, all mothers, all wives, call, hide your kids, hide your wives, bring them all out. Don't even hide them today. You want to know why? Because we're talking fashion. So you're probably trying to decide what tie am I going to wear right now? What suit am I going to wear as I prepare for worship service on this morning? Well, I have some help in the house. The greatest, the best. I'm excited about it. Mr. Travis Schuler is here on this morning. How are you, I'm doing sir? great yourself. How I about am yourself? so excited that you're here. First of all, you know, I said to myself, I said, Jeffrey, I'm going to dress down today. I'm going to be casual. I'm going to, you know, just kind of be relaxed. And of course, forgetting that I am going to do, <laughs> I knew I was going to talk fashion, but I forgot that I was going to bring 
a fashion guru on the show. So we have to talk about this because clearly he came. Look at the tie number one. Mm, I guess. I love it. Absolutely excited. Talk to me, Mr. Shirley. Yes. We're so excited that you're here this morning. I am as well. And we're talking fashion. Yes, we are. How did you get involved into fashion? Well, I've kind of always um, had a love and a passion mm -hmm. for fashion. Matter of fact, that's my motto. I have a fashion. I have a passion for fashion. So mm -hmm. um, going all the way back into grade school, um, you know, I, I just kind of loved and adored. I kind of got it from my mother. My mm -hmm. mother has always been trendy. Mm -hmm. And so I kind of, you know, learned how to coordinate things from her. Now, ironically, I was a software developer for 16 years. So you, wait, you go from developing software <laughs> to developing fashion? Absolutely. Or was fashion kind of like your hobby on the back end well, anyway? Well, it was kind of, like I said, I have a passion for it. Uh -huh. So I went from, from a career to doing something that I love. So now, I'm, for the last four years, I've been doing something that I, that I love. So and, here and I am. That four years is taking you to actually owning your own um, clothing boutique suit yourself absolutely over on two nine absolutely so what is that like because of course suit yourself of course you're going in and everyone's looking for suits and everyone's looking for the hottest suit and the hottest trends how do you keep up does it require you to do a lot of internet research going to shows and looking at different things or do you just go with your own inspiration where do you find your inspiration from absolutely it's a little bit of both um, when I kind of decided to get into the business, it was kind of a, 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 a lull and a void mm -hmm. here in Columbia. Mm -hmm. And you've always hear people say, you know, I'm going to Charlotte, I'm going to Atlanta. So it's almost like everybody skipped over mm -hmm. South Carolina and I had the same exact problem. Would you believe that it's ironic you say that, I inter uh, interrupt you for a moment, it's ironic you say that because I actually would go to Mayo Suit City mm -hmm. in Sumter, South Carolina to find the suits that I needed because in Columbia, you couldn't find anything. So I think like one store was Mark's on Main mm -hmm. and everything else, you would not find the trendy shoes that you would find in Charlotte, the trendy shoes that you would find in Atlanta, the suits, the styles, you wouldn't be able to find them anywhere. So we were going other places because you're right, there was a big void That's right. in the Columbia market. And you have guys who, for, you know, Guys have always really wanted to be unique when it comes to fashion. Right. You know, we always say that's kind of a woman's thing. But uh -huh. Guys are very particular when it comes to clothing. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's really the suit. We kind of look at the suit as the 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 the, the canvas, okay. and we like to kind of coordinate around that. But it's hard to find that very unique piece. You know, you go to your big box stores, and they've got a hundred of of one item. And right. like I said, guys love to be unique. So they would always, a lot of times, invent their own kind of style, go mm -hmm. back to some vintage wear, and we see that's kind of come back in Definitely. where guys are doing a lot of vintage because they want that very unique piece. So let me ask this question. When you, because, <laughs> because and let me ask this question. Now, when you go out places, of course, you're doing your fashion and you're dressed and you're together. Do you and your wife end up, like, coordinating together, or does she, does she come to you often and be like, baby, what are you going to wear so I can actually coordinate, she can coordinate her dresses with your suits? Absolutely. As a matter of fact, I used to be the one actually still do is I, w I used to go out and buy all of her clothing and, and I would actually put her pieces together. We don't really do the coordinating thing okay. as much as we used to when we first got married, okay. but I do still kind of put, she'll kind of pull in some colors every Is that in? You know, because I, I see some people do it and some people, is the coordinating thing really? No, not <laughs> really. Some people do. I will say right. some people do. You know, people who, you know, when they first get married, they love to match and, and things of that sort. Right. Or you'll find that, that older couple who just, they just always love to coordinate what they wear with right. their husband or wives. But not really. It's kind of a trend that's kind of, you know, a, a stands within itself. So talking about trends, because of course we're in, and, and you know, I, I'm a church guy. I go to church, I love church, and I'm in church, but I, I see so many different trends, and I'm finding that the trends in the North, New York, Baltimore, are totally different from the trends in South Carolina, and it almost seems like it's three to five years ahead. That's always the, the, the norm here in, in the South, as we say. Okay. Um, Everything now is, you know, it's modern. Okay. Um, and it's really gotten difficult because, you know, you've gone from one basic style, um, which is your regular fit, to now we have three styles. You have uh, classic, which is your normal, your normal fit. Okay. You have modern, which is slightly ta tailored. Okay. And then you have slim fit. And the slim fit is where you're finding in New York, the L.A.s, and, of course, in Atlanta And slim well. fit is also where you're finding, that's right, put the camera <laughs> on me. Slim fit is also where you're finding some people who are wearing those slim suits that are not, I, I think, and I have a problem with it because I understand being fashionable. But if the suit doesn't fit, you must quit. 
<laughs> that's plain and simple. So the suit, I, I'm finding that we go to like they'll want to wear the modern suits, but the suit is too tight for the man. Like you shouldn't be wearing that. I, I guess to me, there's a certain even though you you can be fashionable, but you still need to be appropriate. Absolutely. Um, and, that's one problem that we see that when you have a guy, and I don't want to say a certain size, mm -hmm. but you can obviously tell. Certain people shouldn't be wearing Certainly. fitted clothing. You know, a lot of times we try to follow what a lot of the athletes do. Right. That's really annoying. That doesn't work. It doesn't work. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we follow a lot what we see in the music or the entertainment mm -hmm. world. But really, modern fit and slim fit is only for a certain size. Okay. So when we talk about, because one of the things that I'm, I'm learning is, you know, finding that the styles are different. And even not just with, you know, someone like me or, or many of my viewers out there who we are working in corporate America, working in the business world, but most of our attire is still, you know, churchy. So what I want to do is have you show me how can you still be trendy, mm -hmm. corporate professional, churchy with one particular outfit. Absolutely. How we can take it and make it different, but still make it tight and make it right all Absolutely. at the same time. And I think that Mr. Travis Shuler is gonna be the person to give me the answers. I'm excited. Listen, keep it right here. We're doing all things male fashion. I know you have it picked out. Go ahead and pick out the pattern of your suit. And when we come back, we're going to put the accessories with it and decide what's gonna be the best look for you this morning as you go and praise them up the King's Highway. Coffee comes up, pinkies are out. It's church time, continue right here. It's the Jeffrey Lampkin Show, good morning. Jeffrey Lampkin. <laughs> Cannon & Graves is a proud sponsor of the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Located at 1837 Wilson Road in Newberry, Cannon & Graves has the perfect certified used car for you. Their extensive inventory has something in every price range, and they can get everyone financed, regardless of credit. All cars come with a warranty to give you the peace of mind you deserve. Come see Steve and Reggie, and find your new car at Cannon & Graves. Good morning, and we're back here on the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Listen, put your coffee cups down, call your husbands, call your boyfriends, call everybody over to the television right now, because, of course, we're talking all things fashion with fashion guru himself, Mr. Travis Shuler from yes. Suit Yourself. I'm so excited that he's here. He's, he's giving us everything, giving us life this morning. So, of course, I know that you're getting dressed for church. So now we need to decide exactly what you're going to wear, how you're going to wear it, what styles and what trends. Now, take me. I work in corporate America, okay. then at the same time, I'm in church. Mm -hmm. Those are two different worlds, which I try to tell people, and people see you a lot of times, they see your pictures, so they think, oh, he's fashionable at all times. But sometimes what I wear in church, I don't necessarily need to wear in the corporate yeah, world. Absolutely. So how do I make that distinction as to what to wear and what not to wear? Well, what I tend to do, I like to call it what I call a dual purpose outfit okay. or a dual purpose suit. Okay. You know, you hear guys all the time, you know, talking about they have 30 suits in their closet. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's because that suit is so unique, they can't wear it all the time. Okay. So you kind of need items that you can kind of, you know, be able to wear in both environments. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of get, a, you know, get a use out of it. So like, take this guy, take this suit for instance. We're going to say, we're going to name him. Yeah, we're going to give we're gonna him a name. name. Let's call him, um, Javier. This Javier. is Javier. This, this is, is my Javier. best name I can give for it. So Javier, take Javier this morning. Okay, as you can see right now, Javier has what I would call a corporate look. Okay. He has his red power tie on, he has his mm -hmm. white shirt. You can also wear this in church. Okay. You know, if you want to kind of tone it down a little bit, but still, the tie pops. The tie pops, and then I think like the, the polka dots that's on the tie makes it seem churchy for me. It gives it that church appeal. Exactly. But it's still because of the colors, it makes it look like, ladies and gentlemen, President Barack Obama. That's yes. exactly right. That's yes. it. And with the same tie and the same suit, you can wear a check shirt up under it because okay. you know the checks are in right now. Where you know a guy used to do a white collar mm -hmm. and a check body shirt, but right. now he's doing the check on check. Mm -hmm. So you'll see in the in the in the fashion world now you'll see people uh, what we call mixing patterns. Okay. So you can take this tie and wear it with a check shirt. You can wear it with a striped shirt because again the the shirt kind of represents the canvas of the uh, and of, what of the actual. I'm suit. seeing so and, and now when you said that I'm noticing the difference because sometimes I'll see the check shirt and a solid tie. Mm -hmm. And in this particular, you have the solid shirt with like a, I guess a pattern. Absolutely. Now tie. me, myself, I actually wear 
a check shirt in this tie as well. Okay. Matter of fact, this is one of my favorite looks here. Real? Blue and red is my favorite color. Wow. I can tell, and you know what, the, the funny thing about it, Travis, is looking even at your attire right now, your attire that you have on, I would so rock this on Sunday morning, hands down, but at the same time, it looks so corporate America. Absolutely. The blazer, the, the style of the blazer, it just looks corporate America, look like, look like you're about to go on the yacht. Right, <laughs> and, and also, when my, my, I mentioned earlier about the dual purpose okay. um, wear. People are doing, uh, they, they want to wear blazers now. Mm -hmm. So I can take this same blazer, and I can wear it with a pair of nice jeans, I can wear it with a pair of nice linen pants, mm -hmm. I can put a t-shirt up under it, I can put a, a, a casual shirt. So I can get, I can wear, I can dress this up or down. Okay. So that's the kind of way you want to go. But back to this guy here, mm -hmm. he looks, he can go in both environments mm -hmm. with this. Now we can do some things to kind of add what I would call, you know, some pop to it that we can kind of, you know, make it a little bit more mm -hmm. fashionable. What will we do? Like what I would do, like you see, he has his white pocket square. Right. Now, you have, everybody wants the floral look. As you can see, I'm wearing a lapel pin. Okay. So I can take this lapel pin and stick him on it. Now, I would probably do, a, definitely do a red one. Okay. Um, but I can also take this handkerchief and I can flip it around. And now I can now make this guy a little bit more fashionable. Clearly. Cl and look how that just added. It, it, it totally just makes different. it look totally different. It brings a total different approach to the entire ensemble. Accessories are very important. Accessories are very are important. Very important. But I'm going to come to accessories in a moment. One more thing I'm seeing because the type of shirt that you are actually wearing and the type of shirt, the, I guess the collar, what, what, what do we see that as? I, I hear a lot of different things like different types of collars and stuff mm -hmm. so because these two collar types are different and your ties are slightly different. I'm trying to... Let me ask this question. Y'all know I'm about to ask real quick. Are bow ties overrated? Yes and no. I okay. think they are. I mean, the bow ties used to be for that guy who wanted to be different. Now you have everybody wearing bow ties. Now, I don't want to say it's really overrated. It's just what's in right now. It's very fashionable. Okay. So you had the distinguished guy years ago who um, wore the bow tie, and a lot of people didn't wear them because they didn't know how to time. Right. And now you're finding the trend now that people are learning how to time. Mm -hmm. And I guess fashion police stop wearing the pre-tied bow ties. Oh, 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 I need to, let me crawl under the, but you know, I have tried to learn how he didn't direct that towards me, but I'm, and I'm not talking to you. I'm just looking. It's just like in looking. church, you know, that moment in church where you are sitting there and you're like, oh my goodness, he just, the pastor just stepped on my toes. <laughs> I have tried with every, and everybody thinks because some of my bow ties, people don't know who just don't know bow ties have no clue that it's pre-tied. I have no clue. And you wouldn't believe, like my aunt and uncle, shout out to my uncle, um, Chimmy and Aunt Jeanette. They gave me for, for Christmas, they gave me a bow tie and they were like, oh, we know you're gonna love this. And I was like, yes, I'm gonna love it. And I'm thinking in my head, I cannot tie this bow tie. And I have sat in front of the, um, the YouTube mm -hmm. in front of because you can go on YouTube and you're actually able to see. I have tried, I have tried, everyone has tried to teach me. I cannot tie a bow tie. Come and see me. I'm the coming the, to see the you. rule is you can't leave until you learn. That's just how confident. Wow. If you know how to tie your shoes, you know how to tie a bow tie. I love Liter it. Literally, it's just like tying your shoes. I love it. And I love now, let me ask a question. Is it difficult to tie even the tie that you have? Because that's not a regular knot. Well, it's a regular on. knot. It's called what we call the Windsor knot. Okay. Some people call it the fat knot. Okay. Um, but it's more, it's actually the, the, the Windsor because you have more of an asymmetrical and it kind of complements this cutaway collar. Okay. Um, is, that, is that what I see when I see the short ties? Yes. You <laughs> Wait, you don't look happy about the short ties? Tra Travis, is, is the short ties in? That's how you get the fat knot, right? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we well, need to do? Well, a lot of people think that's how you're supposed to achieve the fat knot okay. by having it tied real short. And guys, I call it a whopper knot. I don't call because it, it's huge. Okay. And I I used to tie a big knot so big that when I took pictures, the the tie looked bigger than my head. Wow. But I mean, this actually is a Windsor knot okay. here. But as you can see, if you take this out, it's a full length. It's a full length. So tie. I mean, because of the collar, the collar is more of a spread collar, so it's actually hiding the Windsor. Okay. But even my tie, you know, I'm gonna pull it out. Okay. Even my tie still has a regular it comes length. Down. So, I mean, a guy, a guy's thing, and it's become trendy, okay. but it's actually, I mean, when you take your jacket off, so you got to keep your jacket on all day, on. and you're finding that it really doesn't look that good. Right. So, I know a lot of people are going to get me for this, but... No, you think, speaking the truth, we want to make sure that we're fashionably in order. So, so the Winston Knots, they are in, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to take me a trip 
over to um, suit yourself so I can make sure I'll, I'm going to learn. Matter of fact, you know what? I am going to um, give myself that by the middle of June, by June 15th, which will be June 16th, by Father's Day, I'm going to know how to tie a bow tie because I'm going to come see you and then I'm going to tie one on air all right. just for all of all you. Right, all and right. then my uncle's gift will not be in vain that he gave me for Christmas. Wow, that was a long time ago. Okay, so we've learned that a lot of times it's the accessories that will take the suit, but there are just some suits that you can't wear out in corporate America and in the business world. They're suited for church just right. as they are because right. they're so unique. Right. I mean, you know, the plaid suits are in right now. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you know, I mean, I love them but it's it's not appropriate for the corporate world because it kind of gives a stigma right you know of flashy okay um even though i mean it's fashionable mm -hmm. but it has to be you kind of got to look at your environment right where am i going who's my audience because you don't want the attention to be on what you're wearing right you know in in a, in a you know professional in a, environment right. you know because you don't want the whole time you're talking they're sitting there saying oh my gosh <laughs> or if they like it and he's killing that time. Yeah. And they're not even focused on what you're saying. And see, that's what I want. I, you know, I just like, I want you to be focused so much on my fashion that you just be like, wow, he is killing that. Makes me excited. Let me ask this question. We also were talking about um, accessories. Mm -hmm. So, of course, you got your pocket squares and things of that nature. And socks are in. Socks are in. I used to call them the hidden accessories. Okay. You know, because I look at it like this. You have a guy that has a really nice outfit on and he has bland socks. All right. Black, blue brown and sometimes they'll step out with a little cream pair but socks are where it is what can we do because now i have a lot of older male viewers and i <laughs> i have tried with everything inside of me i will name i will name no names but some of you know who you are i have tried my hardest to say they'll be like what socks you got on today and they'll always look at my socks but they will not especially i'm from the country uh -huh. so the country man i cannot get them to wear but like for me these, even the socks that I have on today. Mike, can you get a, a shot? Let me see if you can get a shot. Mike, can you get a shot of my socks? Okay, so today I have on simple Argyle socks mm -hmm. in, my, in my mind. But sometimes I can't even get them to wear these type socks because they think, but this will be a basic right. sock. It will, it will be, well, it's, it's, a start. it's a start. I love Argyles. I okay. mean, as a matter of fact, you're coordinating well in it actually. But me personally, I would have taken and added a little bit more color to pull out your vest. Well, Je see, Jeffrey would. I would do color. Color will work for me. But on, on, so you're saying like these will be appropriate for those older males who may say, "I'm not doing socks. I'm doing those bland colors that you said, right? Which will be like the blues and the the blues, the, the browns, okay. and the blacks. And, <laughs> I mean, if if you are subtle, the Stacey you know, Adams, right? You know, I wouldn't expect my pastor to wear you know colored socks, right? You know? But I mean, if you're a trendy guy, I mean, try to. I'll tell a guy, try them, and I, I promise you, it'll make your old outfit look brand new. Wow. It's the accessories. Wow. You know, I'll t I, I have a motto. I'll tell a guy, bring me all of your suits that you hadn't worn in a while, and I'll make them look brand new. I love it. Do you find a lot of wives actually come into you, um, come into your store, and they're looking for a new look for their husband sometimes? And yeah. Wanting, yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. How, do handle, how do you handle, how do you handle getting the husband to, like, go on board with what it is that you're trying to offer? That's a, that's a tough market. <laughs> uh, unless, unless she says, whatever I buy he'll wear it. Wow. But if I have that trying to get him to cross over, we have to kind of get him a little subtle. We're not going to put him in socks. We're not going to put him in a loud tie. Okay. We'll introduce little small things and based off of the compliments they'll get, because I'll have that all the time. I have guys, they'll start with something small and I have a motto that I use in my store. What's that? If you don't get one compliment, bring it back and I'll give you your money back. Wow. <laughs> that's, how I love, that's, that's, that's a good money that's back guarantee. Right. Listen, real quick, quick round. What is the number one fashion tip for the summer for males Looking with suits and stuff, what is the number one thing that they want to do? The th number one thing that you think males need to do for the summer? How does trend? I would say color. Color. Put some pop and color in. Okay. In. I mean, colors are in. Okay. They, they, they were in, but now they're in, in Columbia. You know, okay. I would say Columbia's five years behind. But put a little color. Okay. You know, add that, that sp even in the corporate world, add a, add a pink tie, add a fuchsia tie. Okay. You know, just don't make it so busy, but add a little, little just color. Just don't make it so busy. He yeah. just said the right words. Amen and walls. Yeah. What's the number one thing we need to stay away from? Stay away from... I would call being being clashing. Okay. You know, um, like some guys will wear. If you're wearing loud pants, 
don't wear because the bright colors are in. Right. Don't wear a real busy jacket because now it's you got too much okay. going on. So. Okay. So if you're gonna do the loud pants, maybe like a solid color blazer or something like right. that. Right. Loud pants are in though right now. Yes. Oh yes. Okay. Yes. Very much so. Okay. Yes. So so we're looking at that. So listen, you know, I wanna because I will talk fashion and before all you go, day long. And before you go, you know, I wanna present you. I'm about to get excited. Yes, sir. I'm about to get excited. You know, I, and you love socks. And love you, you, matter of fact, I'm going to let you open it. I love socks. I do love socks. Oh, there is a God somewhere. <laughs> look, look, of course, please know that this morning, one of these pairs will be on my foot. Now, All which right. one? I love it. Oh, this makes me excited. Now, what I would do to splash before you go, I would take this guy and see how that just makes a, a difference. So when you cross your leg or do whatever it is you Because do. everyone's looking, especially like when I'm playing the piano and I'm moving my foot or I'm hitting those pedals or yeah. something like that, people are always looking. And it's gotten to the point. Now, let me tell you what I do, um, Travis. When I when I actually go somewhere, because everyone's always watching my sock game, I will hike. Like the old man, when the old man used to sit down, it would sit down I on the chair the and it would light those, <laughs> um, hike those pants up so everybody can see the socks and stuff. Yeah. I'm excited. And listen, I promise you, viewers, like I told you, Go see Travis over at Suit Yourself on Two Notch Road. Also, um, the number, what's the number that they can reach you at? If they can reach me at 865-6511. Mm -hmm. They can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. 865-6511. Follow him on Facebook and Twitter. Call me. Let me know if you need to find him. We're going to get you right. Summer is coming. Wives, are, Father's Day. Father's Day Father's is coming. Day. You all need suits for your father. This is... This is the way to dress him, and I'm excited because I got me some new socks. There Listen, you thank you so much for coming this morning. I'm so excited, and I'm going to learn to tie a bow tie yes. by Father's Day. Keep it right here. More is happening on the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Coffee cups up. Pinkies are out. It's church time. Now you can get dressed with a splash of color. Good morning. <laughs> Jeffrey Lampkin. <laughs> Momo's Bistro, now serving lunch Tuesday through Friday from 1130 to 2. And Sunday brunch from 10.30 to 2.30. Classic Southern food with classic French preparation. Dijon and shallot encrusted New York strip. Fresh seafood over local green salad and vegetables. And so much more. In a comfortable yet elegant setting. Momo's Bistro, 2930 Divine Street. Go see Dr. Terrence Tyndall at Jerome & Company. Don't worry, ladies. They carry women's clothing, too, so you can look your best every day. For beautiful casual and dress attire for men and ladies, go to the Columbia Style Leader, Jerome & Company. Wow, what an amazing show. Listen, the word of the day today, style. According to Merriam-Webster Dictionary, style is defined as a design or make of something. So my question comes to you today, what is your style? How do you operate? How do you flow? What color pattern are you wearing? What accessories are you blending? But beyond that, what style are you presenting? Because it's not just the clothes. The clothes don't make the person. The person makes the clothes. So what are you saying when you put on your good pump? What are you saying when you put on your good bow tie or whether it be a Windsor tie as we learned today? All the different styles that were presented to us by Mr. Travis Schuler from Suit Yourself. Whatever your style is, make sure that you rock it. That when you walk out, everyone is saying, you know what? It's something about them that's powerful and full of volume. That's all I've got time for. Have a great week, everyone. Coffee cups up, pinkies out. You the lame. Everybody, everybody <laughs> get up. Come on. Land, 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 land. Just for when you, Jeff smiling out, cause God loves you. Get up and get left, 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 left. When Jeff and Lamb <laughs> Somebody turn the lamp on.